Hello everybody, I am doing some photo shoots tonight. Okay, please don't mind the wig, I still need to get better ones, but for the sake of the internet and the photos, it don't matter. I got a bottle, a Taylor port, and a straw. Okay, so I did a body oil photo shoot the other day, but I think I'm gonna redo it just so it matches the aesthetic because I changed my hair. I still have my locks in actually. I just put this like one of my old cam wigs over it. So I tried Shibari which is, I believe, Japanese bondage. And this is not professional. I'm not trying to insult the craft, I just did what I could. And it made me realize I need to get longer rope. This is too short, so that's why I just kind of winged it. But I want to get longer rope and actually start practicing because they have some gorgeous like chest pieces, okay? And I've read that it's not just for like erotica and sexual. Some people use it for relaxation, mental focus, meditation. Oh, it's okay, and also it looks lovely. So yeah, I'm about to go do the bondage photo shoot. I'm gonna redo the oil photo shoot really quickly. Might record a couple play videos and then I'm gonna do a milk bath, which is what I'm really excited for. I just recorded a couple reels. I wasn't really feeling it. Like I told you, I don't get ready every day cause I would feel pressure to just record and you know create content on all platforms. And that's a lot, a lot, okay? My premium social media has been, I had to clean that up cause it was getting a little chaotic and it was driving me crazy. Between IG and YouTube and all, I already talked about it. It's a lot, it's a lot, it's a very lonely process. I'm not trying to spend all day inside talking to the screen, okay? So I figured I'd take y'all behind the scenes on my photo shoot because I've done so many cool photo shoots before. I did like neon paint, I did food play, I've done a whole bunch of like themed and aesthetic shoots. I used to get the whole like the costumes, the everything, okay? Also, I got some pasties because I figured that would be cute, you know, um, like some teasers and then some non-teasers with them off. But yeah, I stopped doing photo shoots for a minute because a lot of people just like videos or live shows. I went to the store, I got some flowers and I got an orange and a lemon so I could cut up fruit slices because apparently they float. I got powdered milk and regular milk, so hopefully that'll turn the bath like whitish. And I got on one of my wigs and my hair's locked, so I don't have to worry about doing a whole hair day afterwards. So that is that. Those are the moves to, oh, how did I, I gotta get some better wigs. That was supposed to be the plan too. My birthday's like in a week. And I was gonna drop a whole like music video and a whole bunch of other stuff with the way things are going. Um, we gonna take what we can get at this point, baby. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I do have some exciting plans coming up, which I'm really grateful for. But yeah, oh, look at her. Look at her. Now imagine if I had like quality wigs. Hello, hello, but yeah, super cute. I'm excited. So I'm gonna just take y'all with me through this photo shoot process. I do take all of my own photos. I have a tripod, which is going to have to be replaced because that thing just cracked. It's not looking so good, but I have a tripod. I basically either use Snapchat or I use my phone and I just use a timer. Sometimes I use a filter. The filter I use on Snapchat, like if anybody wants to call me off for filters, go ahead. I use them, <laughs> it's not a secret. My favorite one is the soft filter because it looks the most natural, it just smooths out my face and makes it look like if I did my makeup and drank enough water for the day, <laughs> that's what I would look like and that is obviously the goal but I'm not gonna do my makeup the water thing we, we working on we doing pretty good with that so I'm happy but yeah so I use a soft filter on snapchat that's my little secret okay I use a soft filter on snapchat for my content I record all my content there I had some people complain about how I cut my content they're like just post the video and let it be like monotonous the reason I don't do that is because I record on snapchat so if you want that pretty barbie doll look I'm getting it through snapchat because I'm not taking the time to do my makeup and I'm not taking the time to like you know, I should, but I'm not going to, it's that simple. It's lashes, it's lip gloss, it's keeping my skin clear and not putting nothing on it, except for like washing it and stuff like that. And it's using these filters until one day, whatever special occasion makes me want to put on makeup like that, I ain't doing it. So that's my little, that's my little secret y'all, okay? I've had no issues with it so far. Like it's still myself. I use filters on Instagram. So I wanna be transparent about that because Instagram could really hurt the psyche. So I wanna let y'all know, like if you see me on Instagram, I know my angles, I know my faces, I know all of it. If you are not comfortable with picture taking or you're new to it, just get comfortable. It's you and your tripod. That's literally all you need. Like a lot of the pictures you see on my Instagram, a lot of my content, I just film it myself because I'm usually solo or I'm like, all right, I, the way I work, I will do like three back to back photo shoots. I'm not going to make somebody sit there and record that for me. So unless I'm paying them. So yeah, that's my secret. Get comfortable with your tripod. Start practicing your poses, your angles, your face. Just look, look, look at yourself one day and just kind of just keep looking and you know. How do you want your face to look? Practice with your eyes, your mouth. So I do this thing where I don't know what it is. It's not really like duck lips, but I'm able to purse my lips in a certain way. And that's like my resting face. Well, it's not resting because obviously I'm doing something, but like I do this like, 
I don't know what it is. Like, and then my lip kind of just goes forward a little bit, like. And that was practice. I guess that's my like model face. <laughs> but my eyes, I usually just I, I have like I feel like I have smiling eyes if I'm really like enthusiastic and the energy's there. So I just kind of like you know I hit my. You know, I got my little favorites and stuff. But yeah, just practice, just practice. That's all I wanted to say. Get comfortable with your camera. And next thing you know, you be taking your own photos because I take all my own photos. I know people be teaching that and stuff like that, but that's all it is. Just get comfortable with your tripod. Be safe, be aware of your surroundings if you're in public. Start off at home if you're shy. And yeah, but I'm gonna go do my shoot. I got a date with my tripod and a bottle of Taylor Port. So let's go ahead and not the strong man marker. No, no, I'm cracking up. Yeah, we just did that. I'll see y'all later. I gotta get the straw out. <laughs> Unless. Mm. Anyways, I'm gonna get lit and go do these photo shoots. That's another thing. And I'm not encouraging anything. But if you do like to get lit safely, you know, the harmless stuff. That's also fun before a photo shoot too, but be careful because sometimes you'll get lit and then you'll do the photo shoot and you look at it afterwards. You're like, what? What did I, I thought this looked good. Other times you'll be like, oh, I was really feeling myself and you'll feel yourself more. So, you know, I usually don't, but it's like almost Friday. And yeah, so I'll see y'all later, bye. What's up y'all? One second. Oh, um, I can't bend over. What? Hi, hello, hey. So I finished my like bony drop photo shoot. It's not even that for real, for real. Like I would love to be tied up professionally, Thanksgiving turkey style, and you know, then take some photos, especially with like a quality camera. Don't mind the old way, but that's not happening right now. <laughs> so that being said, I tried my best. I'm gonna go ahead and just keep the oil photo shoot that I did. I had, um... <gasps> okay. <laughs> I used some of this which is like body oil, gel, butter. I don't like oil. I'm gonna tell y'all that. Ooh. All right, and we back. I don't like oil, butter, all of that stuff for me. I just, I don't like the greasiness of it. I know grease is good for you and it locks in moisture, but like, I don't like it. I don't like having to wipe it off. All that stuff, I was super careful because your girl just got her sh pierced, okay? I'm filling up the bathtub right now. I'm filling it up for the milk bath photo shoot. Suddenly I got really tired, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm not going to kick it to you. I got very tired and I got mad at myself because I was like, why are you creating content again? You said you weren't going to create, y'all. It just comes naturally at this point. I think I just made an excuse and tricked myself into more work. It's Friday. It's my birthday month and I got to release something. You know, I took a photo shoot six months ago. It was like a pretty kitty photo shoot, cat ears and all that stuff. And it's still in my phone and has not been uploaded. Yeah. So... <laughs> I just need to catch up. That's my problem. I keep creating. I love to create. I have all these ideas and then I execute them and then they sit in my phone after I recorded them. So, your girl's gonna, um, don't mind the red eyeliner. All right, that is eyeliner. I'm not sad. I'm not sick. I just like the look of red eyeliner. I don't know what it is. That like, oh man, crybaby look. Yeah, so I have, total. I have some fruit. I got some flowers, okay. They don't really smell strong, but I'm gonna go ahead and throw all this in the bath real quick along with dry milk. Cause I was gonna use regular milk, but like pouring a gallon of milk in, I might still have to, but I'm gonna see how this hits. Cause I just need it to be white, all right? I think all of this cost me less than like $15. Like I think it was honestly around 10. I definitely love a lot of the photo shoots I did before. I've done fun stuff like drizzling honey over my you know, splattering neon paint all over myself. I had tattoos all over. I love tattoos. I love facial stickers and gems and all of that. And just syncing the costume up with the colors and the aesthetic. Like, that is my shit. Okay. So I decided to go ahead and do this because I put another thing on my to-do list instead of taking another thing off. So here we are. I'm going to fill up the bath. Please ignore my bad wigs, okay? There's a time for everything. Right now, the time is not for my... It's not for my hair, okay? <laughs> we just trying to get by. Tomorrow's Friday. We gonna see who's down to buy. I'm tired. I'm really tired. The one thing about this content creation thing, consistency means you keep showing up, but that means you keep showing up with content, which gets a little tiring. So we got, all right. 
I'm gonna just mix this in the bath. We got three packs, I'm gonna use all of it. If you wanna make it like enjoyable, you could probably put in some Epsom salt, some herbal, something, leaves, something like that, uh, honey, some smell good. Please look up what you can and cannot put in there. Please don't quote me verbatim and then be like, oh my God, my coochie was itching and scratching because Danny Doomsday told me to put this, that, and the third in my bath. I'm just telling you how I'm making my milk bath and even then I'm not gonna stay in long because I have an open piercing that's still healing, so. This is what it looks like. All right. Oh, that's actually really pretty. <gasps> One second. Okay. It looks like a cloud a little bit. All right, all right. I don't necessarily need it opaque. I just want it translucent enough that you can like tell it's a milk bath. That's package number two. I might have to go ahead and put some actual milk in here too. But it's not bad, it's white. All right, that's three. We need actual milk. All right, I was trying to avoid actually having to use milk, but for the sake of content, and to get it the color we want, I think I'm gonna just go ahead and use the rest of this gallon. I'm hoping that works because I don't wanna have just wasted milk. <laughs> uh, so I used three packs of the powder milk and I used like three fourths of like a gallon I had in the fridge. I know if I want cereal for breakfast tomorrow, I'm gonna be confused and be like, oh yeah. But um, we're gonna do the flowers, all right. Oh, I feel so rough. Like I feel like I should like gently pick them off. I don't wanna just like manhandle them. Okay, all right, that's one. He loves me, he loves me not. He loves me. He loves me not. That's pretty. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, he loves me. He loves me not, okay. He loves me. He loves me not. <laughs> Let me show. All right, also I'm gonna like, I might. Uh, okay, so they actually look really pretty right now, whole. So I'm gonna wait till I take some pictures and photos and then I'm gonna take them apart and have like the petals. And I think that'd be really nice too. Thank you, flowers, for your sacrifice. You are beautiful. Thank you for being here for me to create art. You have bloomed solely for picture-taking purposes, but I am grateful for your sacrifice. Nature be hitting, y'all. Nature be hitting. All right, hang out and out more. I know my roommate's like, bro, what the? <laughs> All right, and then bone up our seeds. We have our fruit. So everything like came over here. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and. Oh, I need more milk. I'm not gonna waste any more milk. They probably pour it in. You know what? I've seen people, so it doesn't dissipate. I've also seen people like pour it in and then take photos immediately after. So if you're thinking about a milk bath, do consider that. Yeah, let's get in here and do this. <laughs> flowers with the petals looks even more beautiful like wow that's gorgeous the milk bath kind of dissipated so now it's like a whitish gray but i'm done i got the content i need i'm really tired so i'm about to wrap this up 
Hey y'all, I'm done. I, mm -mm, legs coming off. So I'm using this strainer from the Dollar Tree to scoop up all the all right, scoop up all the leaves and put them in the trash so they don't stop up the tub. And that's gonna be that. Thank you for joining and watching. I appreciate it. I'm about to go reheat the salmon I made for dinner and play the switch because I'm tired. But yeah, I'm excited. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, like this video, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.